This is the Shark Slider Nano for my footage. Cinema 5D at NAB 2019 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. CVP, the leading specialist in creative cine, video, and photo solutions. Fujinon, ultimate optical performance. Cartoni, supports your vision. And Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Hey everybody, Graham Ehler Sheldon here from Cinema5D.com. Welcome to NAB 2019 and our continuing coverage of the show. I'm here at the iFootage booth with Sam, who's here on my left. Hi, Sam. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And, um, I mean, I'm looking at a motorized slider. Clearly, tell me a little bit about it. Yes, so this is our Shark Slider Nano. Now this is a, um, a bi-directional uh, slider, so it means that on both sides it will double its length. So it, this is the 400mm one in front of us. So when it, on a tripod and it moves to the left, it's then got this optimum range of about 800mm or 0.8 meters, basically. So um, even walking around NAB, I see just a couple other motorized sliders out there. What is your competitive advantage? What makes the Shark Slider Nano uh, different? So unlike Adel Crohn's one where that just doubles on each side and it's got motors, our one features brushless motors, which means that it's silent. You've got sort of like no sort of like noise created, so it's ideal for those interview scenarios. But on top of that, you've also got a motorized pan adjustment in the plate itself, which means that any camera or your phone or any sort of adjustment, so when you tie on a fluid head, you can then move in that pan direction, making that sort of like parallax effect at the same time. Uh, in your mind, who's the perfect user for this slider? Uh, I mean, obviously time lapses, you mentioned interview scenarios, uh, any other ones? So you can also use it for stop motion, so like those sorts of things where it will move, you tell it when it, you, you'll like want to take a photo, it'll take the photo for you, it'll move to your next frame, wait for you to set it up, then uh, take the photo again, and you, you can do that continuously. So it's ideal for like stop motion, video, time lapse, literally any sort of like scenario you want it to be, to like be used in. So Sam, are you able to trigger uh, a time lapse or stop motion directly from the slider or do you need an uh, external interferometer to make that work? So you can trigger the camera via a cable that goes straight into the slider itself, so it just goes from your camera into the slider, and then you can control all of that. So literally if you click go on the slider itself, it would start recording on the camera or take the photo, so it depends on which setting you're on, whether it's time lapse, stop motion or video. Now, we're talking about the slider, but I also see a device uh, sort of attached to the .08 uh, uh, lens ring there. Um, it, this is a prototype, maybe not included with the slider. Are you trying to pull focus at keyframes? What's that about? Yes, yeah, so this is our prototype for our follow focus unit. This is a separate thing for the slider, but it will sync with the slider itself. So um, you can buy this separately. It's not expected to come out until the same time as the slider, which is end of August, early September. But that allows you to set keyframes and um, basically pull to whatever you need to pull to. Do you have a recommended payload for this? I mean, what, uh, you know, 1DX Mark II, kind of a heavy DSLR. This is more for mirrorless, smaller cameras? Yeah, so this is more for like your mirrorless, your standard sort of like DSLRs, like your ATD. It will hold up to like a 5D Mark III. The main payload is 3.2 kilograms or six and a half pounds. That sort of payload is our uh, optimum for this slider. All right, and you already gave us the availability, but what is the price point for the, the system itself? So for the 400 millimeter version, it's 499 US dollars. Okay, so very competitive. All right, so uh, it begs the question, how is this thing powered? So the slider is powered off of two lithium ion batteries, and with that you also have uh, the opportunity to power the slider via USB-C with a power bank as well. So you can get pretty much infinite battery time with it as well. So. All right, uh, am I able to power this with any of my existing batteries? Do you have any sort of power in function? Uh, it just means I'm, I'm lazy, I have to bring another battery to set, so that's my question. Yeah, so you can power off of existing batteries as well, so it's all dependent on what you have with you. Uh, how do I do that? Is there like PTAP so in or something? Yeah, so you've got, uh, if you just go into USB-C, you can use one of our uh, proprietary, um, uh, they're called electric rays, which allow you to power using that as well. Okay, I like it. Thank you very much, Sam, I really appreciate it. No problem. Thank you for coming. All right, guys, stay tuned to cinema5d.com for more continuing coverage from NAB 2019. That's it for us here at the iFootage booth. Win $5,000 worth of gear in our NAB 2019 giveaway together with Serp and Joby. You can win a Genie 3Xs Pro Slider Epic Kit, a Magic Carpet Carbon Fiber Slider, and a Gorilla Pod with Genie Mini. To enter the giveaway, simply click the link below and follow the instructions. All winners will be drawn on April 30th. Good luck and stay tuned to Cinema 5D.